हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो चिल्ड्रन इज इन ग्राम ऑफ फन सो हम जो भी अभी सीखे हैं उसमें नए नए कॉन्सेप्ट एड हो रहे हैं वी आर लर्निंग समथिंग मोर एंड डैट टू इन डिटेल विच यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट इन यूर डे टू डे लाइफ ओके वाइल स्पीकिंग वाइल राइटिंग एंड एट द सेम टाइम अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स क्लियरली वाइल रीडिंग एज वेल ओके सो नाउ लेट्स डू कैट क्लॉजेस इन दिस चैप्टर हेलो किड्स what is a clause the first question is that a clause is a group of words that contain a subject and a verb of its own but does not give complete meaning unless it is attached to a bigger sentence thus a clause is a part of a sentence which contains a subject and a finite verb of it, of its own सो so, क्लॉज क्या होता है क्लॉज uh, होता है इट इज लाइक इन व्हेन वी से ना कि उसमें एक कंडीशन अप्लाई हो जाएगी ओके व्हेन वी से कंडीशन अप्लाई मतलब एक क्लॉज अप्लाई हो जाता है अभी ये आपके पास एक सेंटेंस है तो इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द कंप्लीट सेंस ऑफ द सेंटेंस अ क्लॉज हैज टू बी एडेड ओके सो नाउ रीड द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंस द कंपनी शांटेड आउट दोज एम्प्लॉयज हु सर्विसेस व हायर्ड ऑन अ टेम्पररी बेसिस This sentence can clearly be divided into two parts or clauses. Okay, first clause हो सकता है the company shunted out those employees. Okay, ओ oh, first clause हो गया. Second clause होता है whose services were hired on a temporary basis. So note that each of the two parts, like each of the two clauses, has a subject and a finite verb. But sentence two. Gives complete sense only when it is attached to sentence one. तो अगर हम अलग से बोलेंगे the company shunted out those employees, so it does not make mention any uh, does not make any sense. क्योंकि क्यों हटाया उनको? Okay, there is so that is the reason why we need the second clause, uh, which is whose services. ओके व हायर्ड ऑन अ टेम्पररी बेसिस. मतलब उन्हीं employees को हटाया गया who were on a temporary basis clear now let's look at the types of clauses now clauses are of three types first is principal clause now this is also known as the main clause okay or the independent clause it has a finite verb okay with a subject and conveys complete sense therefore it can stand on its own for example i believe it so it is the what is the uh, it means it is a verb here okay so when we is, we are saying okay i believe it to iska pura sense ban raha hai clear so that is why this is conveying a complete sense this has a verb with a subject okay finite verb with a subject subordinate clause a subordinate clause is also known as a dependent clause okay it is a group of words that has a finite verb a group of words jisme finite verb hai with a subject but does not convey complete sense on its own it can thus never be a sentence in itself it merely adds some information to the main part of a sentence usually it appears immediately after the subordinating conjunction for example that he is honest abhi ye that he is honest will not make any sense okay it is just a subordinate clause uske pehle aapko ek sen us sentence ko jodne ki zarurat banti hai okay it is also called a dependent clause it is dependent on something okay it is dependent on certain group of words jiske baad ek conjunction lagta hai which is that aur uske baad ye follow ho jata hai clear so it has a finite verb is with a subject but does not convey sense on its own akele uska sense banega hi nahi okay and it can thus never be a sentence in itself and it just adds information to the main part of a sentence main clause ko wo add karta hai that's it okay usually it appears immediately after the subordinating conjunction these words do not make complete sense but when i uh, when added to i believe it okay i believe that he is honest now it is making sense okay it ko drop kar diya i believe that he is honest now it's making complete sense now a subordinate clause is of three types noun clause relative or adjective clause and adverb clause we will learn about them after we learn about the third that is a coordinate clause 
कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज क्या होता है दीज आर इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉजेस विच आर ज्वाइंट बाय कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस ओके एंड दे आर हेंस कॉल्ड कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉजेस इन अ सेंटेंस देयर आर ऑफ्टन टू और मोर मेन क्लॉजेस कंबाइंड टुगेदर बाय कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस ईच क्लॉज मेक्स अ सेपरेट स्टेटमेंट एंड हैज एन इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस इन अ सेंटेंस सो अगर आप इसको निकालोगे हटके ओके इट बोथ द क्लॉजेस बोथ द सेंटेंसेस मेक सेंस बट वेन यू ज्वाइन देम टुगेदर दे आर मोर ऑफ अ कोऑर्डिनेट क्लॉज ओके दे मेक मोर सेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल मदर वॉज एट होम एंड चिल्ड्रन वर एट स्कूल ओके इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज हो गया मेन क्लॉज मदर वॉज एट होम और इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज हो गया कोऑर्डिनेटिंग क्लॉज चिल्ड्रन वर एट होम at school now both these clause, clauses can stand alone that is they are independent sentences joined by coordinating conjunction and clear now be smart under the underline the clauses in these sentences and write mc for main clause sc for subordinate clause and cc for coordinate clause use the washing machine carefully as i showed you yesterday okay so you are saying use the washing machine carefully I showed you yesterday. So यहाँ पे as से हमने join किया so it becomes as a coordinate clause C C. Ravi has a car but prefers to travel by bus. Okay. So Ravi has a car prefers to travel by bus. Is it making sense? No. It will make sense only when it we are talking about to travel by bus car does not make sense prefers to travel by bus does not make sense so you need a so yahan pe ravi has a car but prefers to travel by bus to yahan pe aap dekhoge ye ban jata hai subordinate clause yahan pe which is prefers to travel by bus clear aur usko jab hum join karenge then both the sentences which together will make a sense right now let's talk about types of subordinate clauses okay subordinate clauses are divided into three types noun clause okay a noun clause is a subordinate clause in a complex sentence okay its functions are as a it functions as a noun and can be used as a subject object or complement of a verb what she believes in is surprising this noun clause is the subject of the verb is okay तो ये जो नाउन क्लॉज होता है व्हाट शी बिलीव्स इन ये बन जाता है सब्जेक्ट ये बन जाता है नाउन ओके इज सरप्राइजिंग आई डू नॉट नो वे योर बुक्स आर द नाउन दिस नाउन क्लॉज इज अ डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ब नो द वंडरफुल थिंग अबाउट टॉडलर्स इज दैट दे ऑल गेट अलोंग सो वेल सो दिस नाउन क्लॉज इज द सब्जेक्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द वर्ब इज ओके note the subject the wonderful thing about toddlers this is a noun phrase uske baad hum comma dalenge it has no finite verb isme koi bhi finite verb nahi hai okay lonely old people like speaking to whoever will listen okay this noun clause is the object of the preposition to okay speaking to clear now a noun clause is often introduced by one of the conjunctions as in reported speech that if and whether to hamesha aap dekhoge reported speech mein hum bolte hai na we use these words like that if whether so uh, it is often introduced with that he said that he knew the new neighbor to ye ban gaya noun clause he asked if i would introduce him to the new neighbor he asked me whether i knew the new neighbor okay now a noun clause may be introduced by a wh word such as why what which when where how etc okay for example he asked me why the child was crying so noun clause ho gaya usko introduce kiya by the word why he asked me who the in charge of the operation was they decided which charges had to be paid how do you how do i know what you think until i hear what you have to say so yahan pe do bar aaya clear he asked me where i went last week she wanted to know when the doctor would come clear now let's underline the noun clauses the news that he had topped the list proved to be wrong so the news 
दैट दैट के बाद आता है अपना नाउन क्लॉज ओके ही हैड द टॉप लिस्ट प्रूफ टू बी रॉन्ग आई डिड नॉट अग्री टू वॉट शी सेट ओके सो यहाँ पे आप देखोगे आई डिड नॉट अग्री टू वॉट शी सेट तो यहाँ पे क्या हो जाता है नाउन क्लॉज यहाँ पे नाउन क्लॉज होता है आई डिड नॉट अग्री टू वॉट ओके आई डिड नॉट अग्री टू उसके बाद आ गया वॉट शी सेट ओके नाउ आई वॉन्टेड टू नो वाई यू व एबसेंट ये स्टडी सो आई वॉन्टेड टू नो वाई वाई के बाद आता है You were absent yesterday, so that becomes the noun clause. Clear? Now let's look at the adjective clauses. You have to do the rest of the exercise by yourself. All right? So do reread the concept and then do the exercise. Now let's look at the adjective clause. An adjective clause is also known as a relative clause. It performs the function of an adjective of a noun. Okay, to a noun. The noun being described by the adjective clause is called the antecedent. Okay? तो जिसको डिस्क्राइब करे वो नाउन बन जाता है एंटीसिडेंट अरुण गेव अनीता अ ब्रेसलेट विच वॉज मेड ऑफ गोल्ड इन दिस सेंटेंस विच वॉज मेड ऑफ गोल्ड इज द एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज एंड इट्स एंटीसिडेंट इज ब्रेसलेट ओके द एंटीसिडेंट ऑफ एन एडजेक्टिव कम्स जस्ट बिफोर द क्लॉज तो क्लॉज के पहले जो आता है एंटीसिडेंट जस्ट बिफोर जो आता है नाउन वो बन जाता है एंटीसिडेंट ऑफ दिस एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज क्लियर An adjective clause is generally introduced by a relative pronoun, as who, whom, whose, which, that, etc. He is the boy who helped me in completing my project. I have finished reading the book which or that you bought for me. The boy whom you wanted to befriend is considered to be mischievous. So, in adjective clauses. Who, whom, and whose they are used for persons and which for things. That can be used for both persons as well as for things. Okay. Now, an adjective clause. जो adjective clause होता है, it is generally introduced by what? It is introduced by a relative adverb. Okay. Where, when, and why? I do not know the shelf where the file is kept. The time when you would could move freely. Has now passed. Okay, when you moved freely, has now passed. I do not know the reason why he was angry. So now these adjectives, they call adjective clauses. They qualify place, time, and reason. Okay. Now defining and non-defining clauses. ये क्या होते? Defining clauses clauses are defining relative clauses. Okay, they give essential information about the person or thing that is being talked about. Okay, जिसके बारे में बात हो रही है. Without this information, we would not be able to identify the person or thing. For example, the man who was caught stealing the bike is arrested by the police. The girl whom you were talking to is my friend. So यहाँ पे हम लोग information दे रहे. Without this information, we would not be able to identify the person. The man is arrested by the police. तो हम identify नहीं करेंगे किसको arrest किया. Okay? So we are saying the man who was caught stealing the bike, जो bike को bike की चोरी कर रहा था, उसको पुलिस ने पकड़ लिया. The girl whom you were talk, who you are talking uh, to is my friend. So, जिस लड़की के साथ तुम बात कर रहे थे वो मेरी दोस्त है Clear? So now we are defining the person about whom we are giving more information about that person. Clear? Non-defining clauses क्या होते हैं Relative clauses they are the ones that give extra information about a person or thing. Which is not necessary for completing the meaning of the sentence. Usually, a non-defining clause is separated from the main clause by commas. Gandhi ji, who is called the father of the nation, adopted non-violence as a weapon to fight the Britishers. Okay, iski zarurat nahi hoti hai actually, but then it is still put over there to describe the person. Okay, we went on a picnic to Goa, which is a union territory. Okay. Combine the following pairs of sentences by using suitable relative pronouns. The man is a great poet. We met him yesterday at the school function. The mat, the man is a great poet whom we met yesterday at the school function. Okay, we visited Poor Bandar. Gandhi ji was born there. Okay, we visited Poor Bandar where Gandhi ji was born. 
Rabies is generally found in dogs. It is a dangerous disease. Rabies is generally found in dogs, which is a dangerous disease. Clear? Now complete the remaining sentences by yourself. Now complete the following definitions using corrective relative pronouns. An escalator is a moving staircase that carries people up and down between floors. A crash is a place where parents can leave their young children while they are at work. A doctor is a person who treats sick people. Clear? Now you know about clauses very well. Children, before you attempt the exercise, don't forget to reread the chapter so that you don't go wrong. Alright? So quickly practice again and then answer the exercises.